Hey guys, in a previous video, I showed you a articulated skeleton. Here's our skeleton right here. And I showed you the layers of the skeleton and how it is not connected, but yet connected at the same time. And what that allows us to do is to keep the skeleton uh, together in one piece, but allows us to have these little pieces, these individual parts, have some freedom of movement. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at a very simple way to accomplish that same thing. So I'm going to take this heart here and I'm going to create it so that it's uh, two different parts all connected into one part and will allow some movement. Now there's a lot of different ways that you can do this. So I'm just going to show you one to kind of get the ball rolling a little bit for you um, and allow you to be thinking about some other ways that you could potentially do this. All right, so let's get started here with the heart. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up into two pieces. All right, but there's going to need to be separation between the two. So I'm going to grab a box here. And we're going to stretch this out here, bigger than the heart. Doesn't matter how big it is. What does matter is how wide it is. So I'm going to make that, uh, let's say, let's put two millimeters in between there. All right, now I'm going to align these two. So I'll select them both and grab my align tool and we'll align them. Now, if I just click this align here, you'll see that we can put that right in the middle. There you go and that's good I like to when I'm creating a hole in between things just kind of bury the hole a little bit so let's actually just to make sure that goes through the top and the bottom it does all right we'll select everything and we will group that all right so now I have some separation I might need a little bit more separation in between those two depending on how much range I want those two to have but again we're just taking a look at how this is done so we will consider that sufficient for now all right now what we need to do is we need to build a connection between the two because though they're separate there's also going to be kind of a connection around the two pieces all right so what we want to do is create um, something that's going to kind of go between the two shapes but in such a way that they're not connected at all. All right, so let's take a look at how we could potentially do that. Uh, what we'll do is we will create a little box and we will connect the two pieces with that. This side will keep connected to this piece and on this side, we will connect it through uh, this box. So in other words, this side will be connected completely to this box and this side will allow the box to protrude into it. Uh, we'll take some space off of it, around it, and then we will connect through the box a little bit inside. All right, if that didn't make any sense to you, let's just take a look at uh, this process and see what I mean. Now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Uh, let's, uh, I like eight. That looks pretty good and yeah that's not too bad so let's go ahead and center that on the heart we're going to grab the align tool um, let's go ahead and put that in the middle of the heart that's not bad that way and we'll put it in the middle of the heart this way as well good all right that's pretty good now what we're going to do is let's, we're going to make this a little bit smaller so we're going to make that 10. Whoops, that was not the right thing to select it. Sometimes you don't select the right thing. All right, there we go. So let's go ahead and take the height of this. We'll make it 10, exactly the height of the heart. Good, all right. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna need is I'm, I'm gonna need to make sure that this little piece that's connecting the two is not connected to the left side of the heart. All right, I want it connected to the right side because it's gonna, that's where it's gonna be connected. But on the left side, I want this to be able to have some freedom to move. So what we're gonna need to do is create a hole around this box. So uh, the easiest way to do that would probably be to just duplicate the box. So we'll duplicate that box and let's make it a little bit bigger. So we'll make that, um, let me just change the, 
yeah, we'll change the color here just so I can see the separation. Let's make that, um, let's give us maybe two millimeters on each side. It might be a little bit more than I need. Uh, so that would make that 12 millimeters altogether. Eight plus four is 12. And then what we're gonna do is, I really don't need the hole on that side at all. So let's create this to be a little smaller. And I'll bring that down over here this way. I can even let it go into the gap, it's fine. And now let's center that on the red one. Nope, oh, that selected the heart. So let's see if we can grab these two together. This one and this one. Nope. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to hide the heart here a little bit. So I'm going to click the heart. I'm going to click this little light bulb here and that will hide that, get it out of the way. Uh, I'm not sure if you're familiar with that. If you need to get it back, you just click this light bulb. All right. It brings everything that was hidden back, uh, but it makes it a lot easier to kind of get things out of the way as you're trying to work with things. All right. So we're going to select both of those. Now let's align those. All right. Now you'll notice here that it's going to move both of these. I want to make sure that this is uh, aligned respective to the red block because I had that in the perfect spot. So I'm going to click the red block and what that will do is it will select that as the object of the alignment. So now they're going to both be aligned but this one now will only shift um, so that it's relative to the red box. The red box is not going to shift at all. All right so when I click this now it will put that right where the red box was and now I'm going to pull that over, whoops, nope, and just the, come on, let's go, unselect. We're gonna pull the yellow box over a little bit, two millimeters, I can do that exactly because I've got this snap to one millimeter, so that's gonna be just like that. All right, let's bring the heart back and see how that looks, not too bad. All right, let's make a hole out of that yellow one. We're gonna select the left side only. All right, now that's going to be a slight problem here because both of these are connected, but it doesn't matter because I only have the hole on the left side. All right, so now I can't select the left side itself. I ha can only select the entire thing, but again, that's okay because the hole is only on the left side and in the middle. All right, so we'll connect those. All right, join those rather. There you go. All right, so now we got some separation in the middle. Now, if I really wanted this to be better, I'd probably round off this block, but again, we're just worried about how this looks or how the overall process works. All right, good. So now we can see here, let's just, let's just say I join everything together just to show you what we got. Now we can see here that this heart over here has this connection and this heart has the hole around it. Now, if I print it as is, both of these parts are gonna be completely separate. So what I wanna do is I wanna build in um, a way to connect this to this through this little protruding part. So I want this to go through the protruding part so that they're connected, but again, I want a hole around it so that there's movement uh, enabled, all right? So let's go ahead and ungroup these things. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide the heart again. And let's go ahead and do that. All right. And now what I want to do is I want to put a hole through this with kind of like a connector. Uh, I want this to pivot well, so let's use a cylinder. All right. So I'm going to bring in a cylinder here. And I'm going to increase the number of sides. Now let's figure out what size to make this. This is uh, 10 millimeters high. So let's make this... Let's make it three or four. So we'll go with uh, we'll go with four, and we'll make that four by four. Good. All right. And then what I'm going to need to do is build a hole around it. But let, let's put this pin in there first, just so you can see what I'm going for here. All right. Let's rotate this a little bit, 90 degrees, and let's center align that. All right, so I'm gonna grab my align tool. I'm gonna to click the block because I don't want that to move. I'm gonna click this one here so that it moves down into the center there. Good. Now let's just center that real quick this way too. 
All right, now let's click off of both of these. And let's move this so that we are definitely on that side. Okay, very good. All right, and now we will move this through. Okay, I'm holding down my shift key there so that it only moves in the one direction. Good. All right, now let's bring the heart back in just so you can see what's going on here. All right, so you can see here that I've now connected this through this piece. All right, the problem is it's, it's one solid piece. So this little pin that's going through to go through that little hinge, if you will, there's no separation around it. So it's not gonna be able to move. So what I need to do is kind of carve out an area around it so that that pin can kind of rotate. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's hide this heart again here. And what I wanna do is I just wanna create a hole around this pin. So what I'll do is I'll actually use this cylinder, I'll duplicate it, and we'll make it just a slightly different color just to begin with, and we'll make it a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna click and drag this out. All right, it's making that a little bit bigger. And let's create a hole, actually let's do that a different way. We're gonna resize that holding down the Shift and the Alt key. So do that, and what that should do is it should keep it kind of centered in place and then grow it. All right, we'll make that a hole. And we can see there um, that that does not look centered very well. All right, so we're gonna have to center that up. All right, so let's center those up. So I'm gonna click and drag over both of them. Let's align them. Let's align their centers both ways. They were centered in the one way. Now they're centered in both ways. Good. All right, very good. All right, so now we can see that we have a little bit of separation. I think I want that separation to be a little bit bigger. So let's click off of that. Whoops. Let's make that hole a little bit bigger. There we go, that's not too bad. And we will align those again. This way, there we go. That's looking pretty good. All right, now what we wanna do is we wanna put the hole Actually, let's, I wanna get these aligned with the block too. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select these. Let's first select the hole and the block. Click the block to make sure that that stays still. And let's bring that down in the middle. Good, good, unselect. Now let's select those. We're gonna align them. I'm gonna click the hole this time so that stays still and we'll bring that pin right down in the middle of those two yeah that's looking really good really good okay good now come on there we go all right now let's take the hole and the block and let's group those together good so now you can see that we have a hole around the pin so as that's printing there's going to be a gap there all right, there's gonna be nothing underneath that pin. So when the printer tries to print the pin, it's gonna be, there's gonna be a gap there. Now, there might be a little bit of bowing, which m might mean that there could be a little bit sticking there, but uh, once it's all done, if we kind of gently kind of twist that a little bit, it should break that apart and allow us to have this uh, entire hole around that pin, all right? That's great. Now, let's bring that heart back in. And we can see now, that the heart is gonna be connected all the way through this little part. So that's gonna stay inside that little hinge. And now the two should be able to move. All right, we'll group that all together. And there we go. That is one example of an articulated design. All right, again, there's, couple different ways to do that. You could maybe put a hinge across both sides if you wanted to. Maybe you could make uh, multiple connections across this, but you know, really the um, options are only limited to your creativity. All right, so um, when you're creating your own articulated design, you can come with whatever creative ways uh, you want to connect those pieces. All right, good luck.